Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about indexes and its types. An index is a data structure used to efficiently organize data records on disk in order to optimize the retrieval of records stored in a database table. Okay. Indexes play a crucial role in databases which helps to make data retrieval faster as well as more efficient. Okay. This indexing method can be classified into primary index, secondary index, clustered, unclustered, dense and sparse index. Okay. We are going to discuss all these methods with suitable examples now. Coming to primary index, a primary index is created on the primary key of a table. Okay. If you look at this example, employee table, in this SSN is the primary key and the index file created for this table is on the SSN column. That's why this, this index file is known as primary index file. Okay. And uh, whenever primary index is created, the records in this table are sorted on the primary key column values. Okay. You can see all the records are arranged as per SSN column. Okay. And uh, since each table can have only one primary key, okay, there can be only one primary index be created. Okay. Um, let's now discuss a dense index. Okay. A dense index contains an index entry for every record in the data file. Okay. So, if you look at this index file, this is known as dense index because it contains, it contains an index entry for each and every record in this table. Okay. That's why it is known as a dense index. Since in, it contains an index entry for each and every record in this table, it makes the searching faster. But the drawback of this is when data records, more number of data records are stored in the table, the index file size also grows bigger. Okay, So, it occupies more space. That is the drawback of this dense index file. Let us now discuss when a primary index can be a sparse. Okay. Sparse index contains one index entry for each block of data record in a file. Okay. If you look at this example, this index file is known as sparse because it contains only one index entry for each block of data record. As well, you can notice this index file is a primary index because this file is created on the SSN column. Okay. And this is known as sparse index because it contains only one index entry for each block of data. Okay. If suppose if search is made on uh, retrieving the record of SSN value 23, then first it will be directed to this and it will compare with this value. It is uh, greater than 12. So, uh, it will be directed to this and uh, it is greater than and less than 45. Okay. That is why the search will be uh, directed to this block. Okay. So, like this access uh, can be made on sparse index. Okay. Here, the advantage of sparse index is that it occupies less memory space because it contains uh, one and one index entry for each block of data. So, its size is small, so it occupies less space. But it is not as fast uh, as fast as the dense index. Okay. Let us now discuss secondary index. Secondary indexes are created on non-primary key columns. Okay. The secondary indexes allow faster retrieval of records, particularly when search is made on the non-primary key columns. Okay. Since a table can have multiple non-primary key columns, it can have multiple secondary indexes also. Okay. Let us now discuss when secondary index be dense index. If we look at this example, here this index file, this is the index file created for this employee table. Here, this is known as secondary index file because 
here this index file is created on non primary key uh, column that is name okay this index is created on name that's why it is known as secondary index as we just discussed this secondary index can also be called as dense because it contains an index entry for each and every record in this table that's why this secondary index is known as dense index usually secondary indexes are created on candidate key or else non key field with duplicate values okay because whenever uh, secondary index is created on non key values then it it contains duplicate values that's why it always be a dense index it has to have one ind uh, one index entry for each and every record so secondary indexes can only be a dense index because uh, since secondary index is created on non key attributes it can have duplicate values also okay that's why it can always be a dense index okay let's now discuss clustered index in clustered index order of rows in table as well as the order of rows in index file are same okay if you look at this example this index file is we know that we already discussed this example right this index file is known as primary index because it is made on uh, primary key column ssn okay now this index file is also called as clustered index because the order of records in this table the order of entries in this index file both are same that's why this primary index can also be called as clustered index as well you can notice that since it contains an entry for each and every record in this uh, table it is it can also be called as dense index okay let's now discuss example for clustered index with sparse index file okay here this index file is a primary index and it is a sparse because it contains one index entry for each block of data and uh, is it a clustered index yes as we just discussed it is it can be called as clustered index because the order of the entries in the index file and the order of the entries in the data file are very close to each other okay that's why it is known as clustered index so from this you can understand a primary index can can be clustered index only a primary index can only be clustered index okay coming to non clustered index in non clustered index the order of rows in index as well as the order of rows in table are not similar okay you can see here the index is here the index file is secondary index okay which is, since it is made on a uh, name which is a non primary key column it is known as secondary index the order of entries in this secondary index the order of records in this are different okay abhi uh, the entry having value abhi it is the first entry and here also first but coming to second bob is the second entry but here the second entry is john so the entries in the uh, table and entries in the index are not similar that's why it is known as non clustered index so from this we can understand whenever the index is made on uh, whenever uh, index is made on non key attributes i mean non primary key columns then it can only be a unclustered index let's now discuss an another concept of having additional indexes with different search keys for a same table okay, if you look at this example for this employee table there are two index files are created one is created on ssn which is known as primary index and another index file is created on name column which is known as secondary index so what is the purpose of having multiple indexes for a same table that's what our discussion right so it is required because a search can be made on any column other than even other than primary key value also okay for example if an user is interested on accessing an employee details you by specifying ssn 
then in such case primary index will be very useful okay if suppose if search is made on a name search key then in such case secondary index will be useful okay so multiple indexes will be very useful for retrieving all type of different type of searches that is made on different search keys okay um, this is about indexing and different type of indexing methods students if you find this video useful to you kindly subscribe this channel thanks for watching